Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind quickly smashing that like button, we will go over to the charts. Um, so yeah, you can see on the four hour, um, we've had very, very little movement um, in the in the, in the the bigger scheme of things relatively um, over the past, um, well, past, past 12 hours or so since last night's video. Uh, Bitcoin's just kind of consolidating in this range. So kind of tells us we've got to um we've got to make got to make a decision at some point i mean i do expect that to be relatively soon i am kind of hoping it is um it is basically when cmes are open um ideally tomorrow so what what am i potentially expecting um clearly it is it is bullish consolidating at this high um so yeah a move to an upside uh, a move to the upside and will clearly um well trigger a break and acceleration to the upside it's when that happens though that i'm and i'm a little bit concerned about not concerned but it's just i i'm i'm sort of getting the impression um that we just may get some sort of a fake out um and it won't necessarily be a, sh a straight shot up um just um just some of the oscillators some of the shorter term oscillators are not um well um they are they are looking a bit toppy um and but obviously the longer term ones are good so i i, I am i am airing on the side of caution here um and also um definitely not ruling out the possibility that we will just form a a sort of rectangle um formation here because what i what i do know is that a lot of people are bullish a lot of people are long not many people are shorting um the um fear and greed index is high a lot of people are just are just think this is a matter of if um when not if um and i'm sure it is a matter of when not if we break this level and go higher but it's not necessarily a case of that is going to be the next move um i i think there is a stronger than <laughs> stronger than average possibility um that we, we we can play out this larger range even if it is only just sort of down to the bottom of this range again 11,500 um but even potentially down to 11,000 and we end up in a a a box rectangular formation um i definitely i'm definitely not ruling that out basically um so um yeah that that is that is the that's the brief analysis <laughs> that is the brief analysis of what is going on obviously you guys obviously know um all markets are interrelated and bitcoin increasingly so so we will have to see how stock markets open on monday how the gold and silver markets are opening how the dollar index dollar currency markets are opening um, and then also what happens when the CME is open um, and what direction they want to take. So we've got a lot of factors, a lot of factors that will come into play to decide the next move. And if they all align in a in a bullish, um, a bullish, um, well, scenario, um, then yeah, I'm sure we will get the breakout and we'll get continu continuation and we will be upside, we will break to the upside um, if that is the case. And, um, and yeah, and I expect this zone to be pretty wild. A lot of um, a lot of wick action, a lot of um, a lot of tomfoolery um but yeah um obviously if we don't get that um that alignment of just the overall overall markets um to give us that um that impetus to break to the upside um there's definitely no issue in my mind of us still just trading within this range um basically that that's that's kind of that's kind of kind of my view here um definitely longer term weekly time frames etc monthly all looking good all looking good but that obviously these we are talking like daily time frames here and there's no, there's nothing to say we can't trade for another week or two weeks in this zone obviously i mean we um the <laughs> the invalidations of that are we just break and go up and that's fine obviously um we can trade according to that but um all i really want to do is just tell you guys that um, just be just be aware that it isn't as clear cut as what a lot of people um, definitely seem to think at the moment. So if we have a look at the four hour, you see four hour pointing down and moving down. Um, I mean, ten hour is getting toppy. It's getting relatively toppy. Obviously, it can stay jammed up here for a while if we break up. Um, but it is nonetheless, if it does turn, it is going to have a um, it is going to have a downward bias for the market 12 hours looking good though 12 hours is the one is the one that is basically got room to run and is looking good um but i mean all i will say just with my move my bear hat on i mean if you look at it, it can just top out mid-range anyway it doesn't have to run all the way to the top every time um daily um well i mean daily is um technically pointing down again so that will be a drag on price obviously i have been saying this is a um this is a bullish reset um but for a bullish reset to occur i mean price then has to break up and then turn this back up and then this move back up if it does keep moving down 
Um, um, well, if it does keep moving down, that will obviously only be if price action does does move down. It's not like this moving down is then going to drag price action because if price action stays where it is and this moves down, that is, like I said, just a, bu a bullish reset of this indicator. And three days, you can see looking toppy here as well. And not that it's the best is the best trend line to draw, but I mean it is relatively um, it is relatively there. Um, if you guys. Um, know what i mean so anyway that is it really um that's it quick update this morning we will assess things later on because not a lot has happened but something a lot we may have a lot happen by the time we have this evening's video so uh, if that's happened then obviously we'll discuss that then but yes remember it's not a financial advice I'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i will speak to you guys later on today